All right, folks. Uh, Ray Dog Thunder Beast here. I have a, a 6.5 Grendel. I have some Alexander Arms 6.5 Grendel ammo. I have our trusty B&K 2209. And I'm going to run through a 5 inch can, 7 inch can, and 9 inch can in 30 cal and 6.5 each. And just get some shooters' ear numbers right here. So uh, let's do this. First is a 5 inch 30 cal can. Right at 140 and a half. 142. 138. 142 and a half or so. 139 and a half, 140. 5-inch 30. Let's switch this can up real quick. Oh, it's nice. Notice we're inside today because it's about 30 degrees out and the wind is not too bad, but it's steady and making it kind of chilly out there. And it doesn't do good with the sound meter when the wind's blowing so much. At least in here we're a little protected. Um, okay, this is a 5-inch 6.5 can and you are correct, we do not have these on the web page. Um, we probably will have these available for you guys that want them. But let's see if uh, there's much of a difference here. Wow. Noticeable, huh? First shot. Yeah. Only 136. Let's see. I'm dropping the scale to the 130 scale. That pegged it, 140. Let's go back to 140. 136, we must be right on the edge here. Yeah. 138. 142. Okay, that was a... Uh, Five inch six five can. Smoking bag. Now I'm going to go to a seven inch thirty cal. So. 7 inch 30 cal is next. One thirty-five. and a half. One thirty-eight. 139. 7 inch 6.5 can. So I'm doing this on the ejection port side. Maybe after this we'll just keep the video running and I'll load a couple up and throw it on the other side of the gun and see what happens. So 7 inch 6.5. Six and change. One thirty seven. Gotta give me a minute.
just cold enough. Hand feels good though. Nice hand warmer. So next is a uh, like a double hand warmer. Nine inch thirty cal. Pegged it. Oh, something happened. Something happened with the trigger. Look at that. You got a gun failure? There it goes. This is a uh, one of those crazy jewel triggers I put in to play with with a spring on the side. Mm -hmm. um, it feels good, but it, it's definitely not something I would run in a match. It's been a little particular, and it is not going to stay in this gun. Try this again. This is a backup gun if you got issues. 138, 135, 136, 139. So, I think the 6.5 can here, 9 inch. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see if we're trapping more gas at the muzzle. If it's louder here at the ejection port. Yeah, I noticed the 657 inch was throwing the ground a bit further. Yeah. No, it's gas guns, man, gas guns. Yeah. Here we go. Thirty-seven and a half. One thirty-eight. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Right at one forty. Ah, trigger. Did it not eject that last round? There's no way out. Guess it's done. Just didn't lock back. Just didn't lock back, all right. So there we go. Those are the numbers for that. Let's uh, put the sound meter over here. And let's run the same. Fingers are just cold enough. Makes it difficult. Uh, messing up. Alright. Bring it back a little bit more towards shooter's ear. I'm on a 130 scale still. Yeah, huge difference. First shot's 130. 130 again. 133. 133. And 129. So, uh... I think that shows us a little bit. Let's try these five inch cans again. Glenn Seekings. Glenn Seekings, I hope you appreciate this. 
cold day in Wyoming. Actually, it's not that bad today. That wind out there is uh, not nice. Go figure, wind in Wyoming. Who would have ever thought? And uh, Mr. Joe Alexander, thank you for the ammo. I love you. I don't care what everybody else says about you at all. <laughs> uh, Bill's a good guy. Bill's a real good guy. Um, and those of you that know Bill knows, he knows a lot about guns and stuff. All right, so here's the five inch. I'm going to leave it on the 130 scale. Tagged it. That was louder. <laughs> Let's go to the 140 scale. 144, five, that was 145. Yeah, it sounds noticeably louder. 142. Right at 140. 139, right at 140, 142, 141, 141. A little bit quieter, huh? Yeah. Not a lot. Um, all right, we got some numbers there. Uh, I don't think there's a point in doing the sevens. We kind of saw what's going on. Um, so there you have it, 6.5 Grendel, ejection port side, shooter's ear side, um, Alexander Arms ammo, and I believe it's an 18 inch. So, Thunder Beast Ultra Series, man, there you go. Have a good one.